Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, a sum of money becomes 9 times of itself in 2 years at R percentage compound interest. Find R. So what's the given question? It is given that a sum of money becomes 9 times of itself. That is amount is equal to 9P. P is the principle, it's the sum given. An amount becomes 9P at a time period of 2 years. Then we have to find out what is the rate of interest R. So the another type of question we already saw. When a sum of money doubles itself in uh, 2 years, we have to find out in how many years will it becomes 8 times of itself. Or a sum of money becomes 3 times of itself in n years. Then you have to find out in how many years will it become 9 times of itself. And we saw the shortcut formula there. But here the question is different. So analyze the question carefully what is given. So here it is given m times of itself. A sum of money is becoming m times of itself in t years. Then we have to find out the rate of interest. So rate of interest is specifically asked. So these type of questions will come in competitive exams. So let us try to find out a formula for this, a shortcut formula. So we can say amount is becoming m times of principal in time t years and r is the rate of interest. So we are trying to derive a common formula for doing these kind of problems, a shortcut formula. So amount is becoming mp in t years, then you have to find out the rate of interest. So now we can substitute the formula, what is the formula? A is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 the whole raise to t, this is the common formula. So mp is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 the whole raise to t. So p and p is getting cancelling out, so we will be getting m into, m is equal to 100 plus r divided by 100 the whole raise to t. So from there we are trying to find out r. So what is r? Okay, If you want to find out r, this uh, teeth root, uh, t square uh, raised to t is given here. So you have to take teeth root on both sides. On the left hand side and the right hand side you have to take the teeth root. So m raised to 1 by t is equal to 100 plus r by 100. So from there you will be getting r is equal to 100 into 100 we can take as common m raised to 1 by t minus 1. So this will be our common formula. So once you by heart this uh, shortcut you will be easily able to do these kind of problems. Rate of interest is equal to 100 into m raised to 1 by t minus 1. And what is this m? Amount is becoming m times of principal. Rest everything you can easily know. T is the time period and R is the rate of interest. And M is amount is becoming M times of principal in T years. So R is equal to 100 into M raised to 1 by T minus 1. So now we can apply this formula here. So here T is equal to 2 and M is equal to 9. It is given sum of money is becoming 9 times of itself in 2 years. R is what we have to find out. So what is the common formula? R is equal to 100 into M raised to 1 by T minus 1. So here you will be getting 100 into 9 raised to 1 by 2 minus 1. 9 raised to 1 by 2 means square root of 9. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. So 100 into 3 minus 1 which is equal to 100 into 2 or 200 percentage is our answer. Now question number 2, a sum of money becomes 8 times of itself in 3 years at R percentage compound interest, find R. So here also the M times of itself question. So here M is equal to 8, the sum of money is becoming 8 times of itself. So M is equal to 8 and time period is given 3, we have to find out the rate of interest. What is the common formula? R is equal to 100 into M raised to 1 by T minus 1. So this is the common formula. So you can substitute. So rate of interest will be given as 100 into 8 raised to 1 by 3 minus 1. 8 raised to 1 by 3 means cube root of 8. Cube root of 8 is equal to 2. So 100 into 2 minus 1 which is equal to 100 percentage. Now question number 3. At what rate percent compound interest does a sum of money become 9 by 4 times of itself in 2 years? So again the same kind of question here m is equal to 9 by 4. The sum of money is becoming 9 by 4 times of itself and time is equal to 2. You have to find out the rate of interest. 
so what is the common formula r is equal to 100 into m raised to 1 by t minus 1 so you'll be getting rate of interest is equal to 100 into 9 by 4 the whole raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 so 9 by 4 the whole raised to 1 by 2 means the square root of 9 by 4 square root of 9 by 4 will be 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 minus 1 3 by 2 is 1 and half so 1 and half minus 1 is equal to half so 100 into half is equal to 50 percentage now our final question find the rate percent if a sum of money becomes fourfold in two years at compound interest so whenever the question comes rate percentage you have to remember this formula we have to find out the rate percentage or we are having a shortcut formula for it so you have to check whether it is compound interest and whether m is given and t is given so here m is given it is four the sum of money is becoming fourfold of itself then t is equal to 2 so what is our common formula r is equal to 100 into m raised to 1 by t minus 1 so our r will be equal to 100 into 4 raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 4 raised to 1 by 2 means square root of 4 which is equal to 2 so 100 into 2 minus 1 which is equal to 100 percentage thank you for watching